Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we're going to be painting the Custodes Blade Champion from Warhammer 40,000. And we're going to somewhat follow the heavy metal paint scheme, so let's go ahead and dive into how I painted this model. To get this model ready for painting, I've primed it using Retributor Armor Spray Primer from Citadel. Now this is the main color of the armor, so make sure you get a good full coverage with this primer. The first thing we're going to do with this model is we're going to shade all of the armor using Reichland Flesh Shade. Now you can go as heavy or as light as you'd like with this shade. The main thing is to make sure that you evenly distribute the shade over the entire surface, and don't let it pool in one spot more than another. Once we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to now layer the armor using Auric Armor Gold. We're going to just focus on the center of each of the armor panels with this color, and this is going to make the gold appear a little more pearly than it was before. Our next step is to take Stormhost Silver, and we're going to highlight the edges of the armor and anywhere that we think the light would reflect off of the gold armor panels. With the main armor color done, we're going to take Abaddon Black now, and we're going to paint all of the clothing that is underneath the armor. This includes the sleeves and the pants on this model. With that done, we're going to take Dark Reaper, and we're going to use this to highlight the wrinkles and the edges, any creases that are in the clothing or boots that we just painted with the black in the last step. Now we're going to begin working on all of the leather parts of the model. We're going to start by basing this with Rhinox Hide. Now while you're doing this, don't forget to do the inside of the cape as well. Once our base color is in place, we're going to shade all of the leather using Nuln Oil. Once we've allowed the Nuln Oil to dry, we're going to take Wazdaka Red. We're going to use this to edge highlight the gloves and any other leather parts on the model. This is going to start making the leather appear to have a slight red tint to it. Now we're going to do a second highlight, and this time we're going to use Squig Orange. We're going to not do this quite as thick as the previous highlight, you just want to focus on the most raised surfaces and spots where the light would catch. Now, as a warning, this is going to kind of look a little bit pink at first, but once you get the other colors on, it'll be fine. It's time to start working on the cape. So we're going to start with Mephiston Red, we're going to use this to base coat the cape, the tabard that's on the front of the model, as well as the shoulder pads and the plume on the top of the helmet. With that in place, we're going to shade all of the red surfaces using Karaberg Crimson. Now, you don't want to go too insanely heavy with this, and you want to make sure that all the pooling happens in the recesses of the cape and other cloth parts. Once that is dried, we're going to take Evil Sun Scarlet, and we're going to use this to highlight all of the more raised parts of the cape. This is going to make the cape brighter, and it's going to start to help us see where the recesses and creases in the cloth are at. You're also going to want to highlight the plumes at this point. Now we're going to do another highlight on the cape, and we're going to use Wild Rider Red, and this time we're only doing a fine line on the absolute most raised creases in the cape. You're also going to do this on the tabard on the front, as well as the plume. With the cape all done, we're going to start working on the details of the model. We're going to start with Lead Belcher. We're going to pick out all of the eagle symbols, all the little ornaments and trim on the model, as well as the faceplate of the model. Next, we're going to take Mechanicus Standard Gray, and we're going to use this to pick out the pipes that are on the lower part of the chest plate of the model, as well as any of the gaps between the armor. With both those colors in place, we're now going to use Nuln Oil to wash both the Lead Belcher and the Mechanica Standard Gray areas that we just painted. Hello. 
Now we're going to begin working on the swords of this model. We're going to start by basing them with Sotek Green. Just be careful not to get this on the cross guard of the swords. Now we're going to take Temple Guard Blue and we're going to use this to paint just the edges of each of the blades. We're also going to pick out all the gemstones that are on the armor of the model at this point. With both those base colors in place, we're going to take Contrast Talazar Blue. We're going to use this to shade the blades. And we're trying to focus on allowing the contrast to pool along the edges of the blade. Once that contrast is dried, we're going to take Celestra Gray. We're going to use this to edge highlight the very edges of the blade, as well as the edges of the flat of the blade. And then we're going to do a few lightning bolts along the blade. You're also going to put a dot in each of the gems at this point. Next, we're going to paint the eyes and the handles on the model's swords. And we're going to use Screamer Pink for this. When you do the eyes, just be careful not to get paint on the area around the eyes. You just want to get it in the actual eye itself. Now we're going to shade the handles and the eyes using Carabird Crimson. Once that shade is dried, we're going to use Pink Horror, and we're going to use this to highlight the center of each of the eyes. We'll also do a second highlight on the eyes using Celestra Gray, and this is just going to be a thin stripe at the very center of the eyes. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take Retributor Armor and we're going to use this to paint the eagle on the back of the cape as well as any of the eagles that are on the leather parts of the model. This is also a good time to clean up any mistakes you've made along the way. And we're going to go through and shade this the same way we did the armor at the very beginning. For our final step, we're going to take Stormhost Silver again. We're going to use this to highlight the edge of each of the lead belcher details we painted earlier on in the video. We'll also use this to highlight the gold parts that we just painted in the last step. And with that, we finished this model. Thank you so much for watching today. I've created a Facebook group for you to show me your painting projects, so go ahead and look for the link to that down in the description. As always, have a great day, and we'll catch you in the next one.